In the vast arena of space exploration, two titans are locked in an unprecedented showdown. Blue Origin's New Glenn and SpaceX's Starship were both poised to make history on January 10th, 2025, but fate had other plans. Our mascot is the tortoise, Jeff Bezos proudly declares, because we believe slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Yet as the Atlantic waters churn with higher than expected swells, Blue Origin's methodical approach faces its latest challenge. The dream of launching New Glenn ahead of SpaceX's Starship grows more distant by the day. The story takes an unexpected turn as both launches slip from their January 10th target. Elon Musk announces Starship Flight 7 won't fly before January 13th, seemingly giving New Glenn an opening. But nature intervenes. High seas in the Atlantic force Blue Origin to push to at least January 12th, with forecasts suggesting even further delays. This isn't just about two rockets racing to the launch pad, it's about two distinct philosophies colliding in the cosmos. Blue Origin's careful, measured approach versus SpaceX's rapid iteration. After nearly four years of delays since its original 2021 target, New Glenn stands ready to prove whether slow and steady truly wins the space race. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in humanity's greatest adventure. Let's dive right in. The tortoise in the hare fable takes on new meaning in the modern space race. But this time, the stakes are measured in billions of dollars in national security implications. As we stand on the precipice of what could be the most significant month in commercial spaceflight, the contrast between Blue Origin and SpaceX couldn't be more striking. Jeff Bezos's methodical approach with New Glenn has been a testament to patience, perhaps too much patience. Since its announcement, the massive rocket has undergone countless refinements, each promising to bring it closer to its maiden flight. But as dawn breaks over Cape Canaveral in early 2025, a familiar story unfolds. Another delay, this time due to high seas in the Atlantic where Blue Origin hopes to land its booster. The irony isn't lost on industry veterans. Blue Origin's Launch Complex 36, once a silent reminder of the space race's golden age, now stands ready with a rocket that embodies both promise and frustration. The company's recent $3,250 fine for unauthorized use of its water deluge system during static fire testing adds another layer to this complex narrative. It's a small sum for a company backed by one of the world's wealthiest individuals, but it symbolizes the hurdles that even the most well-funded space ventures face. Behind the scenes, the pressure mounts. The U.S. Air Force's decision five years ago still echoes through the halls of Blue Origin's facilities. Their choice to award major contracts to SpaceX and United Launch Alliance sent a clear message. Patience has its limits. The termination of a $500 million contract in 2018 was more than a financial setback. It was a wake-up call that the space industry waits for no one. Yet there's a method to Blue Origin's measured pace. The new Glenn rocket is a marvel of engineering, standing over 320 feet tall, a giant even among giants. Its seven BE-4 engines, fueled by liquid oxygen and liquefied natural gas, represent a new chapter in rocket propulsion. The seven meter wide payload fairing isn't just impressive, it's a direct challenge to SpaceX's market dominance, offering capabilities that could revolutionize satellite deployment and space logistics. But while Blue Origin perfects its tortoise strategy, SpaceX continues to push boundaries. The launch cost comparison tells an interesting story. New Glenn's projected $60 to $70 million price tag matches the Falcon 9, but with nearly double the payload capacity. It's a bold pricing strategy that reflects Bezos's long-term vision, not just to compete, but to fundamentally transform the economics of space access. The similarities between the two companies' approaches are fascinating. Both have embraced vertical landing technology for their boosters, a technique that once seemed like science fiction. Both understand the critical importance of rapid reusability, but where SpaceX has refined this through hundreds of actual launches, Blue Origin's experience remains largely theoretical. The stakes extend far beyond corporate competition. NASA's Artemis program looms large on the horizon, promising to return humans to the lunar surface in the late 2020s. Both companies hold crucial contracts for this ambitious endeavor. 
Former NASA Administrator G. Scott Hubbard's enthusiasm for competition to SpaceX's Falcon 9 reflects a broader industry desire for alternatives and redundancy in space access. Looking beyond the immediate launch window, Bezos's vision becomes even more ambitious. The new Glenn isn't just another rocket, it's the foundation of a grand plan to enable human civilization to expand into space. While Elon Musk dreams of Mars colonies, Bezos envisions massive space stations housing millions, preserving Earth as humanity's garden while industry moves to the stars. This vision has already begun materializing through Project Kuiper, Amazon's answer to SpaceX's Starlink. With plans for over 3,000 satellites and contracts for 880 launches, the largest commercial procurement of launch vehicles in history, the success of New Glenn becomes crucial not just for Blue Origin, but for Amazon's space-based internet ambitions. The company's learning curve has been steep but educational. Whatever happens, we'll learn, refine, and use that knowledge for our next launch, says Jarrett Jones, Senior Vice President for New Glenn. This statement perfectly encapsulates Blue Origin's approach, methodical, patient, and focused on long-term success rather than immediate headlines. As we wait for either New Glenn or Starship to break the surly bonds of Earth this January, the space industry holds its collective breath. Blue Origin's ambitious plan for a dozen flights in 2025, doubling in subsequent years, suggests confidence despite the delays. But confidence alone doesn't launch rockets, something SpaceX has demonstrated repeatedly with its 99% success rate for Falcon 9. The environmental challenges both companies face from Blue Origin's recent find to SpaceX's similar struggles with water deluge systems in Texas, highlight an often overlooked aspect of the space race, the delicate balance between rapid progress and environmental responsibility. These aren't just technical challenges. They're reminders that even as we reach for the stars, we must remain mindful of our impact on Earth. Industry analyst Laura Forsick sees New Glenn's eventual launch as more than just another rocket test. This inaugural flight will represent a great advance for Blue Origin and for the space industry, she notes. With its massive payload capacity, the ability to launch both satellites and astronauts, New Glenn could finally provide the robust competition the commercial space sector needs. The timeline tensions between New Glenn and Starship's next launch reflect more than scheduling conflicts. They embody the fundamental difference in corporate philosophies that have shaped the modern space race. Blue Origin's tortoise may have taken longer to reach the starting line, but in space exploration, perhaps the race isn't always to the swift. As both rockets stand ready on their respective launch pads, they represent more than just competing vehicles. They embody different visions of humanity's future in space. Whether advancing lunar exploration, enabling internet mega constellations, or laying the groundwork for space-based manufacturing, these launches mark the beginning of a new chapter in space commercialization. The story of New Glenn is more than a tale of delayed launches and technical challenges. It's a testament to perseverance, a reminder that innovation doesn't always follow a predictable path, and proof that even in the fast-paced world of modern rocketry, there's still room for methodical progress. The question isn't just which rocket will launch first, it's whose approach will ultimately prove more sustainable in the long march to the stars. As we watch this historic race unfold between Blue Origin and SpaceX, one thing becomes crystal clear. The future of space exploration isn't just about who launches first, it's about sustainable innovation that opens the final frontier for all of humanity. Whether through New Glenn's massive payload capacity or Starship's rapid iteration approach, each step forward pushes us closer to Bezos's vision of a trillion humans living among the stars. The story of these two aerospace giants reminds us that there's no single path to success in space. Blue Origin's tortoise may have taken the scenic route, but their methodical approach could prove just as valuable as SpaceX's rapid development cycle. After all, space exploration isn't a sprint. It's a marathon that will define our species' future. What do you think? Will New Glenn's careful preparation pay off? Or will SpaceX's Starship steal the show? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you want to stay updated on the latest developments in space exploration and the ongoing competition between these industry titans, 
Make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community here at Elon Musk 24 Hours. Don't forget to ring that notification bell to catch our daily updates on everything happening in the world of space innovation. Until our next launch window opens, keep looking up. The next chapter in human spaceflight is about to begin. Breaking news from Starbase, Texas. In a moment that space enthusiasts worldwide have been waiting for, SpaceX has just unveiled the timeline for Starship's Flight 7, and it's happening sooner than anyone expected. Monday, January 13th, marks the day when the world's most powerful rocket will once again reach for the stars, carrying with it groundbreaking new features that could revolutionize spaceflight as we know it. The stakes couldn't be higher. After the remarkable success of Flight 6, SpaceX isn't just aiming to repeat their achievements, they're pushing the boundaries even further. Fresh imagery from Starbase reveals nearly 50 strategic modifications to Starship S-33's heat shield, while the Super Heavy Booster B-14 stands ready with improvements that could make history, the first ever successful catch attempt. But there's more to this story than meets the eye. While SpaceX races ahead with their ambitious timeline, their competitor, Blue Origin, faces unexpected hurdles with their new Glenn rocket. The contrast between these two aerospace giants has never been more striking, and the implications for the future of space exploration are profound. From cutting-edge hardware upgrades to a meticulously planned flight sequence, from payload deployment demonstrations to groundbreaking landing attempts, we're about to witness a test flight that could redefine what's possible in aerospace technology. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, and today we're breaking down every detail of this historic announcement, including the exact timeline, the revolutionary changes, and what it all means for the future of space exploration. Let's dive right in. The clock is ticking at Starbase, and the atmosphere is electric. SpaceX's announcement of Flight 7's launch window has sent ripples through the space community, but what makes this launch truly extraordinary goes far beyond its timing. Let me take you behind the scenes of what could be the most significant Starship test flight yet. At the heart of this mission lies a series of groundbreaking modifications that could reshape our approach to space exploration. Picture yourself at Starbase right now where teams are working around the clock in a carefully choreographed dance of preparation and precision. The familiar silhouette of Starship S-33 rises against the Texas sky. But look closer, and you'll notice something different. Nearly 50 carefully chosen spots where heat shield tiles are conspicuously absent. This isn't an oversight. It's a deliberate and daring move by SpaceX's engineering team. These gaps, strategically placed across S-33's surface, represent a bold new approach to stress testing. Each missing tile tells a story of calculated risk and potential breakthrough. SpaceX isn't just testing a rocket. They're pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible in spacecraft design. But the real game changer? Take a look at the catching system newly installed on S-33. While this flight won't attempt an actual catch, its presence signals something massive on the horizon. SpaceX is laying the groundwork for future missions where these spacecraft won't just launch and land, they'll be caught and reused, slashing the cost of space access in ways we've only dreamed of. Let's talk timeline, and trust me, every second counts. At T minus 75 minutes, the launch sequence begins with a crucial go, no go poll. This isn't just procedure, it's the culmination of months of preparation and refinement. The fueling process starts at T minus 44 minutes and 59 seconds with liquid oxygen flowing into the ship. Just over two minutes later, at T minus 42 minutes and 20 seconds, liquid methane joins the dance. The super heavy booster B-14 follows its own carefully timed sequence. Methane loading initiates at T minus 41 minutes and 24 seconds, followed by liquid oxygen at T minus 35 minutes and 28 seconds. Every step has been fine-tuned based on lessons learned from previous flights particularly Flight 6's successes and near misses. Here's where things get really interesting. At T minus 19 minutes and 40 seconds, the engine chill begins, a crucial procedure that prepares the Raptor engines for their moment of truth. These aren't just any engines. They're the most advanced rocket engines ever built, 
and they're about to prove their worth once again. The final countdown approaches with military precision. At T minus 30 seconds, the flight director makes the final verification. The water deluge system activates at T minus one second, and then ignition. 33 Raptor engines roar to life in perfect harmony, creating a spectacle of raw power that literally shakes the earth. But the real drama begins at T plus 62 seconds when Starship hits max Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is where the spacecraft faces its first major test, pushing through the atmosphere's greatest resistance. At T plus two minutes and 